Hi, my name's Bob, this is my wife Jane. Hi. And welcome to the Dumb Digging Allotment Channel. We're a couple of uh, mid 50 year olds who decided to escape the rat race four years ago and leave the southeast of England, up sticks, and move to West Wales. Um, and probably our only regret about moving here was that when we chose a house, we didn't buy one with a big enough garden to grow any vegetables. Now, luckily, while we were having a walk around the village this year, we bumped into somebody who was working near a polytunnel. And we asked him, oh, is there a waiting list for these allotments? And he said, no, there's one free at the moment. And if you're interested, we'll get the forms for you to sign and you can start straight away. So, that's what we've done. We've solved their problem of not having anywhere to grow. The only trouble is, we know nothing about gardening vegetables whatsoever. So, this is allotments for dummies. We're, we've watched hundreds of YouTube videos and we've decided to try the no dig method. The only drawback with that is we live a frugal existence, so we don't have very much money to spend. Or we decide not to spend much money. Um, so we're going to try and do it as cheaply as possible and repurpose as many items as we possibly can. So things such as wooden pallets, uh, scrap water piping, plastic bottles, you name it, if I can find a use for it on the allotment, it will be featuring. Um, when, it's just an experiment. We don't know if it will work. We don't know what will grow in the ground. Um, if you're interested to see if it's a success, you're welcome to follow our channel. Thanks for watching. Here we are back at the allotment. It's finally stopped raining and the wind stopped, so we're trying to get our fences up today. Maybe get in the first plantings of some potatoes, um, some radishes, and some onion sets that we bought from Poundland. At the moment, we've just got a bed that, bed that we've just dug over, one bed that we've got some cardboard and some compost that we're going to try and turn into a no dig bed um, a raspberry patch where we've bought some overgrown raspberries from the garden and replanted them down here and the rest of it's still a work in progress first part of the fence is up got the front part all sealed off worked out how many more rolls of chicken wire we need and about 10 more steaks put in our first early potatoes in this section and under here we've got some onion sets that we just planted so fingers crossed hopefully something will come up hopefully get the rest of the steaks in tomorrow and finish off the fencing for good. Fencing finally finished, just a little bit of netting to put on the gate. But other than that, we've covered all around, protect against the rascally rabbits. Today we'll be trying to build a raised border on here, which will hopefully be a no dig section. We've planted some rhubarb and a gooseberry bush on the fruit patch and hopefully we'll get some strawberries in there soon and then we've just got a few more beds and a lot of weeding to be done first wonky raised bed 
It's now been constructed out of pallet wood. We didn't bother levelling the ground first, so it's uh, not too square, but I don't think the plants will mind too much. Never know, might even help with the drainage. So far we're filling it up with 150 litres of compost in each of the pallet sections. And we're just testing out the different makes. This one was Westland that we got from B&M, three bags for a tenner. So we'll compare how the different composts do over the years. Here we are, back at the allotment for a quick update of what we've done so far. In the raised bed we've planted onions and beetroot. We've got a fleece over them because our radishes have coming up and we're a bit worried about the frost tonight. The No sign of the potatoes yet. The onions are just starting to come up, so hopefully we'll have some luck with those. We've got sign, signs of garlic coming up. Those were just planted from supermarket garlic bulbs that we had in the fridge. We've, plant, we've planted out the broad beans, which we've got under cover in case of the frost. finished our winter vegetable bed and in here we have a row of carrots, a row of parsnips, one row of mussel bra leeks, uh, one row of a summer leek, I can't remember the name at the moment, and some purple spouting broccoli at the end. Unfortunately I made the decision to go down with this particular bed and had to riddle all the earth so it was good for carrots and parsnips and have extracted probably about a ton of stones out of the bed so that's a lesson learned go upwards next time rather than downwards um, we've bought a tayberry from Morrison's that's hiding under the bucket next to our wild flower bed and we, we have bought some cuttings that we made at home which seem to have all taken root put in the fruit bed they're either gooseberries or black currants only time will tell Go over the We've dug over the main path from the gate, so I'll get some weed membrane down on that tomorrow and maybe cut the lawn and get some grass on top of it so it's not so muddy when we're walking around. Had a quick hoe over an area that we've previously dug over just to get the weeds dying out in the sun. Um, done the same with this path here, just trying to get the weeds killed in the sun. We've uh, got one of these sonic pest deterrents that's solar powered that's flashing at me at the moment because it's detecting me so hopefully that will keep out any unwanted visitors and we have a lovely kite flying above us at the moment Today, 
at the allotment. We have finished off putting the rabbit deterrent around the very edges. As you can see, we've now got bits of wood stapled to the chicken wire, which you probably can't see, all the way around. And after doing this temporarily last night, we didn't get a bunny attack, so that was a good thing. We've covered up the carrots, parsnips and leeks. And everything else is tickety boo The onions are growing in the onion patch. Garlic's growing. We've got lots of radishes. So hopefully, now we've weeded and taken all the weeds up from that big bed there, flattened it, we're all ready to go. Mm -hmm. 